Mercy Care understands that being a caregiver is a tremendous responsibility. Hi, I'm Tad Gary, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Mercy Care. It's important to have open and honest conversations about how to preserve the dignity and wishes of our aging parents and loved ones. Talk early and often. Observe and do your homework before you act. Approach with love, concern, and support. Communicate effectively. Hi, I'm Melissa Elliott, Senior Vice President of Programs and Services for the Area Agency on Aging. I don't think anybody wants to think about the day when they can't take care of themselves anymore. It's kind of embarrassing to think about, well, will I someday need somebody to help me go to the bathroom or help me take a shower? Or I used to be able to go and get my own groceries and well, I need somebody to do that for me. And sometimes that leads to, you know, to shame and guilt and what kind of burden we're putting on other people. It's a very important topic in terms of planning for aging services. Um, as, an, as a representative of the area agency, this is what we do every day. Um, we talk to people about um, how to care for their loved ones. We have those conversations, teach them how to care for their loved ones, let them know what resources are available, and most importantly, let them know they don't have to do it alone. We have more people 65 and above than we ever have. We have more resources, people are living healthy, they're living longer, and so really this should just become a part of the normal everyday conversation about, well, what happens as I, as I need more help as I grow older. Having these conversations, bringing this out to the surface, um, making people aware that there are a lot of resources available for them is the best way to do this. Hi, I'm Carla Sutter, and I am with the Arizona Healthcare Directives Registry at Contexture. Contexture is a, um, the health information exchange organization here in both Arizona and in Colorado. It's a way to ensure that uh, medical information is shared between providers. Oftentimes when we're thinking about caregiving, we're thinking about it with an older adult. Um, but now that, that may not be true. It could be someone um, younger. It could be from a illness or accident that happens very quickly. And so understanding and having some information ahead of time is really key to be able to act on it. So we're gonna be doing um, a public outreach campaign um, along with Hospice of the Valley. Um, and what it is really focused on is one, bringing awareness. And one, we're going to be training what we are calling a community assisters um, to really have a confidence in having conversations around advanced care planning, around advanced directives such as a living will or healthcare power of attorney, so that they can then bring that message to their own clientele um, in ways that connect with the clients that they serve. We're also going to be doing awareness um, trainings and seminars and webinars for consumers directly. At those events, we're going to also offer assistance with completing those advanced directives, sharing how simple that can be, and then right then and there also registering them with the Arizona Healthcare Directives Registry so that it's not an added burden for them to have to take home a packet of paper um, and put it uh, together themselves. So we're gonna be right there with them, uh, them. I think it's wonderful that Mercy Care is being a champion both of the caregiving conversation but specifically for the work that Contextra is doing around the Arizona Healthcare Directives Registry that they are really recognizing that awareness of having um, advanced conversations and documenting our wishes around healthcare is key. And so their commitment to that and working with us and other organizations to ensure that we can put together a campaign to talk about this, to bring it um, into the forefront and not keep it within the hospital walls is, is truly um, the thing that we need to ensure that when wishes are known, they can be documented, registered, and then found and honored when needed.